It is divine. Oh my God, it's a little pumpkin pirate. me hearties it be the best time of the year it be lush kitchen halloween box <laughs> i hope you're all doing really well and, and enjoyed my piratey intro um today we're going to be unboxing the lush kitchen box for october 2023 and the theme for this box be pirates so it's really cute I love the box, it's got little tentacles all over it. If you didn't know, I have a ginormous octopus tattoo. And um, it actually says, adventure awaits, beware, contents may come alive. So if you don't know about Lush, it's kitchen subscription box, they do two subscription boxes. Um, this one is uh, £35 a month plus £3.95 shipping and you get to vote for what goes into the box. So there's normally six things to choose from. You'll normally get about three-ish items that we all vote for and then you get like a couple more surprises so you get five full-size items in this box of 35 pounds a month you don't get samples which i find happens a lot in subscription boxes the other box the fresh and flowers box um is 35 pounds a month and it's all like fresh ingredients self-care um some kind of more of like a skincare hair care kind of a pamper vibe whereas this is more like bath shower body and i'm just really excited because every year lush turn it up for halloween in fact my, i think my favorite box last year i think it was my favorite box last year was the halloween box last year i do have a recap video for 2022 so i'll leave that at the end for you to watch but let's open up as you know i always take out the information sheet just so i don't see anything but ah uh, that's so cute i kind of like always just like slip my hand like just underneath to kind of pull it out so i never see anything but it says get cracking oh my god this box is amazing i they've brought out some really cool subscription boxes i've got a spongebob one i've got the glitter box one and now i've got this one i'm going to be keeping these because they're not just the normal green boxes that we have um oh i love this box right let's dig in so first of all we've got a really cute little card the design on this is so sweet there's a little kraken octopus underneath here and he is pulling down the ship so i'm not going to read this other side until the end because it does sometimes give spoilers i'm going to pop that there and i'll read that at the end oh my god we've got a knot wrap oh my god i love this Oh my god, that's so cool. I'll let you guys see first. Uh, what's... Mmm, I can smell some super trampy sort of a smell. Oh my god, that's so cool. Can I, can I zoom out? Oh, I'm fully zoomed out. That is so cool. I need to look at it. Oh, it has like loads of places. Oh, it has Pool Harbour. It has everything to do with... Lush on there. Oh, and it has Carrie's Secret Garden on it as well. And it's got a cute little treasure padlock on there. And what I like at the moment is that all the new knot wraps that are coming out have a design number. So this is Treasure Map and this is its design number. And this just makes the knot wraps a lot more collectible. Um, yeah, I love that. That is awesome. And this is made from recycled plastic bottles. How many recycled plastic? Two 500 recycled plastic bottles. But we're gonna put that on one side, that is awesome. Well, straight away, I can smell something I think I voted for, but that I do really love. And it, I can smell the smell of Super Tramp, which is like this really sweet, earthy smell. So let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, no, I'm pulling out something else and it feels like a huge bottle. <gasps> Excuse me. We got a shower gel. This was not up for votes because I was a bit like, oh no, there's no no shower gel up for votes. This is red beard. Look at the glitter on that. Oh, my God. It says, Ahoy me hearties. Get ye skin aglow with this spicy smoky blend of carrot seed oil and fragrant fenugreek. Let's have a smell. Is this going to be like ginger scented, do you reckon? Let's have, oh my God, I've got loads of bath bomb in it though.
Oh my God. This is, now I, I don't know if there's a collaboration which I'm going to read at the end, but this is the same smell as the And Sand fragrance. Um, I'm sure it, it smells just like it, it is divine. So you've got glycerin, um, you've got water, fair trade organic aloe vera gel, extra fine sea salt, um, organic agave syrup, uh, lactic acid, carrot oil, uh, carrot seed oil, fenugreek absolute, Sicilian red mandarin oil. It is divine and it reminds me a lot. Let me get the perfume out, I need to have a spritz. So I'm just saying my room is like an episode of Hoarders, it's just, just I don't want to even look down here, it looks so bad. So I got this fragrance sand from And um, when I went down to pool at the start of the year. Let me have a, I've already sprayed trim it, that is all. Hmm, no, I don't think it is the same, but then it has, hang on. There are some very similar notes to this, very similar notes. It reminds me a lot of the sand perfume, which by the way, I personally think it's the best fragrance from And. I've not tried any of the newer ones that they've got out, but oh my god. See, this has Mad Madagascar Vetli Vert Essential Oil and Sandalwood Essential Oil. Well, sandalwood Essential Oil is the top, and then Mimosa Absolute and a Vetli Vert. But there's something about it that's really similar, that really reminds me of this. So it says, the red wash is overflowing with a bounty of spectacular shimmering glitter. Obviously the glitter that Lush use is biodegradable. This, I cannot wait to use this. I cannot wait to use it. I cannot wait to use it. Right, what else we got? Well, I'm gonna pull it out because I can see it. We have got Pirates of the Carrageenan Bath Bomb. So this is the thing that I could smell before. Look at that skull and crossbones. Mm, I love Super Tramp so much. Super Tramp is like a mixture of grass and tramp if they had a baby. So it's very sweet, very earthy. Oh, it's just divine. And this is a, a really, really lovely bath bomb. Inside is a yellow chunk of bath bomb. So it's really lovely and foamy. Um, it's beautiful. And obviously you've got all this gold luster on the top just to add a bit of extra shimmer. Oh, God, it smells amazing. Let me stick my hand in. Oh, what's this over here? We've got a pot. You look first. What is it? Can you see it? Oh, I'm not even holding it properly. Well, too late. I'm looking at it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Body scrub. So, how many scrubs could a scrub scrubber scrub if a scrubber could scrub a dub scrub? Did I say that right in the first go? So, uh, did I vote for this? I possibly did, because I do like scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub is an, uh, a, a body scrub from about four years ago. Um, it got discontinued. It is a black charcoal body scrub mm, that smells like black currant. It is the same smell as Bat Art Bath Bomb and Junk Perfume. So you've got this beautiful black currant scent running through, but then the green mandarin and the sage really adds a depth and a layer to it. It is a very scrubby scrub. Um, it's on the kind of, if you like the feeling of magic crystals, it's kind of more that texture than say rub, rub, rub or orange scrub. But you've got fine sea salt, blackberry puree, lime puree, activated charcoal, organic blackcurrant powder, blackcurrant absolute, butchew oil, you've got rosemary oil, pine oil. Oh, well then it's not sage. I'm getting mixed up with the rosemary oil. Um, and then you've got lactic acid at the end. So it says, how to use. Take a handful of this enchanted potion and polish all over before rinsing off, leaving your skin so soft, you'll be stroking it all day or all night. Um, so it's a really lovely smell and a really lovely feeling if you like that kind of a thicker scrub. We've got another bath bomb. Ooh, oh my God, it's a little pumpkin pirate or a pirate pumpkin. Oh my God, that's so cool. And it is sparkly pumpkin scented, so that really kind of spicy, kind of fruity smell. So if you've had the sparkly pumpkin shower slime, the sparkly pumpkin uh, bubble bar, the pumpkin crumble uh, bubble rune, it's the same smell as that. I wonder what it's like inside. Do you think it's going to be all orange or do you think it's going to have some red inside or maybe like a completely different colour? It smells amazing. Right, have we got anything over here? Nothing over on this side, nothing over on this side, nothing over this side. So then we've got one last thing. 
we have got Smuggler's Soul Multi-Purpose Cream. Now I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else in here. <laughs> I didn't realise, but at the bottom of the boxes, there's a jug. So we'll look at that in a second. So Smuggler's Soul Multi-Purpose Cream. Go under the cover of Evocative Soothing Sandalwood. So that pairs up really, really lovely with... Is it the same smell as Smuggler's Soul? Does Smuggler's Soul have fenugreek in it? I'm just really captivated by that shower gel. So you've got lemon balm infusion, water, almond oil, argan oil, organic jojoba oil, glycerin, extra virgin coconut oil, sandalwood oil. Uh, you've got lemongrass oil, rosewood oil, vetiver oil, tajitis oil, camellia oil, fresh cucumber, fresh watermelon. Watercress. Sorry, fresh watercress. Let's have a smell. So this is what it looks like. So as the name says, it is a multi-purpose cream. So face, body. Let me have a try. Oh, that's a nice texture. Um, try and put it somewhere where I've not sprayed. Um, oh, that feels lovely. Mmm, that smells lovely. Now, is, maybe, is this Smuggler's Soul scent of that shower gel? I'm going to have to get, have I got a bottle of Smuggler's Soul? I can't remember. It feels beautiful. It's rich. I would say it's quite a heavier cream, actually. The more I'm feeling it, it's, it's still sitting on top of my skin. It smells lovely. I need now dig out see if I've got another perfume in my cupboard to see if this this shower gel is smuggled as all. Well. It's just ringing to me. It's all I can think about. It smells so much like that and perfume. One second. Okay, I have the tiniest bit of smuggler soul. So I'm just going to use this really stylish bit of a uh, toilet paper to spray on there because I don't want to like kill myself on perfume. No, it's not the same smell as smuggler soul. God, Smuggler's Soul smells so good. Why did they discontinue that? It smells so good. Mmm. No, they're completely different. Yeah, I would say that this really, 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 really reminds me of the And perfume. And I know that Simon and his brand And has worked with Lush um, for a new shampoo bar coming out in Canada uh, with the scent Bear. I mean, it wouldn't not make sense to have them two collabing again for something like this. But let's have a little look at the card. Oh, well, first of all, before we look at the card, there's something at the bottom and it says, what do you get more of the more it disappears? A bath bomb. <laughs> okay. Behold fresh treasures. Take off on a wild journey. While most are in search of diamonds and gold, we've looked, afar, we've looked far and wide for high quality ingredients that help people, animals and the planet. These are our gems. Distilled from plants from around the world, set sail on your own adventure with fi the finest ethically sourced essential oils. Patchouli oil, let dark Sumatran patchouli oil ground you with its spicy, woody and earthy notes. Derived from steam distillation, we source this rich essential oil from Sumatra, Indonesia, in, part of, with, in partnership with Geo Luiz Permaculture Centre. GPC encouraged permaculture and regenerative practices throughout the region, empowering farmers while protecting local communities, land and wildlife habitats. Then you've got Sicilian red mandarin oil. This coveted essential oil is revered for its uplifting properties. Did you know it takes 300 kilos of red mandarins to make one kilo of oil? We source this precious citrus oil from third generation family run suppliers who use solar energy for production. 45% of the energy they use is provided by 1000 square meter solar panels. Then you've got the petty grain oil. Fine balance with petty grains, fresh green notes of orange blossom. Sourced from Paraguay, this essential oil is distilled from bitter orange tree, leaves skin feeling cleansed and revived. Not your average wrap. From 2010 to 2023, 6.7 million plastic bottles have been recycled to make our knot wraps. This month's bespoke knot wrap is made from 100% recycled plastic bottles that have been washed, spun, chipped and melted to create the plastic yarn. This fabric is then printed using a heat transfer method which uses less water than traditional screen printing. And if you want to know more about this box, you can absolutely scan this QR code here and it'll tell you more about it. So let's talk about the ingredients for our naked products. So, 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 so. We've got Pirates of the Carrageenan Bath Bomb. 
sodium bicarb, citric acid, carrageenan extract, kombu powder, dark sumatran patchouli oil, petit green oil, pimento berry oil, um, you've got sandalwood oil, ginger oil, celery seed oil, uh, cream of tartar, water, titanium dioxide. So you've got that there. I think kombu is also a type of seaweed as well because they had those mortal kombu eye things a few years ago. Then you've got pumpkin patch, that's so cute. You've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, you've got cornstarch, uh, grapefruit oil, juniper berry oil, lime oil, organic pumpkin seed oil, cream of tartar, water, uh, titanium dioxide. Mmm, smells so good. So that is everything from the box. I'm going to take you through what was up for vote uh, for this month. So up for vote is Damp Squid Bath Bomb. I voted for this because it looks so cute and I have smelt the Damp Squid or the Squid, what was it, the Squid Games um, shower jelly. That was a few, from a few years ago when Squid Games was massive and that's the same smell and I really loved it. So I was like, yes, I want that. Plus it's really damn cute. Then there was Black Pearl Solid Perfume. I would absolutely l love that. So I voted for that. I love the smell of Black Pearl. It's a really gentle lavender and chamomile smell. If you've ever had uh, Birth of Venus jelly face mask or if you've been lucky enough to have it, the Black Pearl shower gel, it's the same smell as that. Then we had the Scrub 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 Body Scrub. Ooh, correct me if I'm wrong if I voted for that. I can't remember if I did. I might have done just because, you know, I love a body scrub. We had the Pirates of the Carrageenan bath bomb. I don't think I voted for this because I was like, we've not had it. It's not been away from us for that long. But I do love the Super Tram smell. So I am happy that it's here. Um, but I think I would have preferred to have tried damp squib just because it was, I keep calling it squib. Squid because it's just so cute. Uh, Devil's Nightcap Soap. Um, that was like a, a really kind of earthy, mossy, soily smell. I voted no for that purely because I've got soap coming out of my ears. Soap coming out of my ears. Too much soap. So I voted no for that. Uh, what else do we have? I'm missing one. What am I missing? Well, I can't think what the other thing is. And I'm really trying to think what it was, but I can't think. So if you do know, let me know down in the comments. Um, but yes, I really, really love this box. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we had last year. We had a shower bomb, a bath bomb, a body lotion, a body wash, and a bubble bar. So we had five things, plus we had a pin and a notebook. So let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five things, and the knot wrap. So we're only one thing short from last year. Um, I really, really love it. Um, I think the box is gorgeous. Uh, I love the exclusive pa packaging. Um, it's just really, really lovely, and I would love to know what you think of it down below. Um, I know some of you only get one box a year, and it's this box, so I would love to know what you think down below. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up, and if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. Um, I've got quite a few videos backlogged. Um, I'm going to try and get Alex to edit some and I edit some so that we can get a whole load up. I had some issues with the Lushiverse videos because I recorded a lot of them on my phone, like the, the vloggy style, and it wasn't compatible so Alex has had to convert them. So it's on its way, don't worry. If you want to see kind of some little sneak peeks of that Lushiverse event, you can head over to the Lush page. I'll leave that down below. I always tag them when I tag um, Lush in my videos. And you can go see the shorts of me being interviewed by the amazing Finley. I was so hot that day. I was so hot. I was you wouldn't think, but I was stood in front of a van for 10 minutes before that interview. So yes, go check it out. Leave some love in the comments. I'd love to uh, see what you all have to say. There's three separate videos um, with three different questions. Um, but yes, if you want to, you can follow me on social media here. YouTube will leave some videos at the end for you. I will leave the roundup video for last uh, for the whole year. And I think I might leave as well maybe the Halloween box for last year so you can get an idea and maybe you can let me know which one you prefer. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video.